What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for Sana Aries. This is if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with us. This is for sign of Aries. This is for resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with us. Free general collective reading for sign of Aries. Um, love you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the sharing of my content on social media and word of mouth. It's really helping my content get around in a very positive manner on social media. I really, really, really appreciate it, you guys. From the bottom of my heart chakra, I do. Um, this is for sign of Aries for November of 2022. I did receive a couple channel messages as I was meditating on your energy, Aries. The first one I heard, a Libra is about to file for divorce. Um, that was the first one. So whoever this Libra is to you, um, it could be anybody. Um, it could be your spouse. It could be somebody else's spouse. But um, whoever this Libra is, they are in they are in a legally binding marriage contract right now. I'll tell you that. They could be a masculine, masculine or feminine Libra, and they're about to. It sounds like they are about to uh, take it upon themselves to file for divorce. Now, for some, it might be from you. For some, it might be from some from somebody else. But um, they're about to start. They're about to file for divorce. Whoever they're married to, uh, but they're coming up in your reading, Aries. So they're significant to you in some shape, some shape, form, or fashion. However, that resonates and applies. That was the first one. And the second one, I heard um, an Aries, um, an Aries. Uh, for one, an Aries secret child you thought was kept very hidden in your community. Um, you're about to learn they are not um, that the secret child is not kept hidden in your community. You're about to receive contact, unexpected contact from someone outside your community, complimenting you on your child. But what you don't know is um, the baby father is um, has spoke on the secret child very publicly on social media. For some, it is your secret child. For some, it is your secret grandchild. That's what I heard. So for some, it is your secret child. For some, it is your secret grandchild. But you thought the grand, you thought the child or grandchild was kept very secret in your community. So meaning, um, you didn't think people knew about the child outside your community, whether it's your child or your grandchild. But people do, and it sounds like it is because of the baby's father. Um, and apparently they have said something on social media. Um, I'm presuming they have said something on social media. That's what it sounds like from the channeling um, about the child. And that is why the child is known outside the community, because of social media is what it sounds like. For some, it is your child. So for some, it is your grandchild. But I heard you're about to receive contact from someone outside your community that apparently has seen the social media posting or picture or words he has said or something, something to do with social media, complimenting you on your child, but it's about to, or your grandchild, and it's about to um, shock you because you thought it was a secret child, meaning very keep been, keeping very hidden in your community, but they're not so secret anymore. It is about to shock the hell out of you. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. So it's about to shock the hell out of you, whether you're an Aries grandparent or an Aries parent of this child. I didn't hear if it was a masculine or femme child, but it uh, it's the baby father that's doing this. Um, it doesn't sound like he's talking negatively about this child, so that's good. It doesn't sound like he's talking negatively about them. And obviously, he's not trying to uh, hide them. Um, it sounds like he's saying positive things about them um, or showing them off or praising them or something. So, I mean, that's not a bad thing, Aries. I'm just saying. So, however that resonates and applies. At least I don't see it as a bad thing. It's when you try to keep children secret and try to abuse and hide and exploit people. That's when the problems occur. 
spirit messages you have reflected. Heart is going to shock you. But whoever is about to communicate with you, it's somebody that has seen this social media posting from the baby father. Spirit messages you have reflected. And you have the Family Matters card. Mountain, major challenges to overcome. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. You have Panther and Starfish. For some, you could be dealing with a um, fire sign or a water sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haver, Jupiter, Charge, if you are. A death of an older earth sign masculine is about to become very significant in Aries' life. For one, it's your uncle. For one, it's your father. The death of an older earth sign masculine is about to become very significant in Aries' life. For one, it's your father. For one, it's your uncle. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Uh, upcoming death of an earth sign masculine. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, masculine. I heard he's older. I feel he's probably much older than 35, 36 for a lot of you guys. I feel, feel he's probably much older. But um, he can have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Menhay with Jupiter charts. It's upcoming. It hasn't happened yet. But um, he's, he's either your uncle or um, your father. Biological or foster father, you play in how it resonates, but some kind of earth sign masculine energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, masculine, upcoming death. It's about to become significant in your life, whether it's your uncle or your father. Spirit messages here, I look like it. The merge. Panther. An older Libra feminine is about to find out about your... Uh, a water sign masculine, baby father spreading your child all around social media. For one, your child, one, your grandchild. It is about to piss her off in a huge way. You're about to lose all respect for this older Libra feminine. For one, you already have. Oh, my Lord. You're pulling in very heavy, um, malicious, spiteful, petty, jealous older Libra feminine energy if that resonates and applies for you Aries um okay so we're pulling in this child that apparently the baby father in some of these cases is a um water sign masculine uh cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine he could have cancer Pisces Scorpio in any aspects of his charts uh for some of you guys uh because I heard specifically can uh water sign masculine um so whether it's your grandchild or your child but um because he's Putting him on uh, him or her, it could be a, a, a femme or a masculine child. Um, I didn't hear what if it was a femme or masculine child, but he's um, the water sign masculine is putting him on social media, um, and it's causing people outside of the community that view his social media platform, whatever platform that is, to see the child. But you thought it was secret in your community, but apparently it's not so secret because he's put putting the child all over social media, which is a good thing. Sh shows he's proud uh, of him or her, I'm presuming. But anyway, so it's about to piss off an older Libra femme. Um, she's going to be in the Panther energy. I heard she's about to find out about this. She's about to find out about this. Now, I'm assuming she's on his social media or somebody else is about to tell her about it if she's not on his social media. But somehow, she's about to get wind that he is... Um, publicly talking about this child on, it sounds like his social media, and it's about to piss her off in a huge way. A huge way. 
a huge way that's double confirmation, a huge way. And um, but I heard for one of you, whether it's your whether the child that's in question here that's going to be on social media from the water sign masculine baby daddy. Sounds like he's a proud parent here. I don't see how that's a bad thing. Um, it's one, you've already lost respect, all respect for the older Libra femme. One, you're about to. So whether you are the grandparent in this situation or the, or the, sounds like baby mama in this situation. You plug it in how it resonates, Aries. This is, why is she so concerned about somebody else's life? Because that's exactly what the hell the sea is. Somebody's getting a huge wake up call. Somebody's getting a huge wake up call. I mean, I'm for real. Why the, and, and she's older, so 35, 36 or above. What? Like, why are you so, why is this chickadoo so concerned about a child being put on social media? It's not her child. I mean, she needs to stay in her damn lane, and that's just the truth. So family matters in this aspect is the child. Um, it sounds like she is connected to this water sign masculine, or she wants to be connected to him, or she used to be. Somehow she's making this water sign masculine and this child that's not even hers, her business. What? She needs a wake-up call, I'm just saying. For one of you Aries, you're about, uh, Aries Feminines, you're about to create many negative series of chain of events for her. She has gotten way out of line in many aspects. Okay, so at least, okay, so I feel heavy, I heard Aries fam, so I feel whether you're the grandparent or the baby mama, well, obviously you're a fem here, but feel the grandparent situation, you're probably a fem uh, grandparent. For some, you might be a masculine, but at least one fem grandparent over here, I'm just saying for real, for real. Uh, but how that resonates, um, one of you, whether you're the baby mama or a femme grandparent or a masculine grandparent, you're about to create negative series of chain events for the older Libra femme. I heard she's been way out of line many times in the past. So whatever negative series of chain events you're about to occur for her, uh, you're about to create for her. You're about to create for her. So you're about to be a power play mover and create negative series of chain events for her. But it sounds like once she starts getting all petty and jealous and spiteful and malicious and pissy in her pants, basically, because... A child is being celebrated on social media. Like, what the hell? I think this situation is going to submerge you. Um, whether you're the grandparent, a masculine or femme grandparent, or the baby mama. That's serious. That's some serious petty behavior from a supposed person that's supposed to be grown. You might need to hear that. And I'm just being for real. So major challenges overcome is this spiteful, petty, jealous, Libra Finn that's about to get all pissy in her pants because the child's about to be celebrated on social media. But I heard one of you guys about to create negative series of chain events for her because she was apparently been way out of line many times in the past. They're about to be very negative tower moments for her. She's about to learn. Oh my god, I heard that they're about to be very many negative tower moments for her. She's about to learn. So one of you guys are about to not play around with her. And I don't blame you, because if it was my child and this, whoever she, I mean, whoever this chickadoo is or anybody got all spiteful, petty, malicious, and jelly on my kids, you better believe I'd be standing up to their ass. And that's just the truth. Stay in your damn lane. If it ain't your kid, it ain't your concern. And that's just the truth. Starfish. Let's see if I hear anything else for this. A CEO is about to find out about a workplace affair and Aries is in in a corporate conglomerate. They're about to have no mercy on you. Know this. It has caused way too much drama in the facility. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. Okay. So, one of you Aries is in a workplace affair in a corporate conglomerate. Medical field. Medical field. So, you're, um, so one of you guys is works in a facility uh, in the medical field in a corporate conglomerate, but you're in a workplace affair. But a CEO of the corporate conglomerate, it sounds like, 
or one of the CEOs, how that resonates and applies, they're all different, is about to find out you're in the middle of this workplace affair. Um, I heard um, they're about to show no mercy on you, that it's caused way too much drama. So uh, whoever you are, Aries, that works in a facility, in a medical um, conglomerate, medical corporate conglomerate, you work in the medical field, the, a, one, a CEO is about to take no mercy on you. But you were in the middle of the workplace affair in a facility. But the workplace affair is caused apparently in the already in the energetic space and past energy, huge ass drama. So you're about to be submerged. You're about to be in deep shit with this um, CEO is what it sounds like here. And it sounds like they work in corporate is what I'm presuming. I heard they're about not to mess around. So I feel you can be a mask or fem Aries, but you are in a workplace affair. And you work in medical, um, you work in the medical field. And you work in a facility in the medical corporate conglomerate. Oh, my Lord. So major challenges overcome. Uh, it's got about This CEO is about to hand you your shit, sir or ma'am. Um, I didn't hear you're going to be terminated, but I feel, for one, you might possibly be. Um, because it, it's not going to go well. Uh, because apparently this workplace affair has caused a bunch of shit. If you don't end up getting fired, there's a strong possibility you will. But if you don't, you probably will quit. Oh, my Lord. I heard if you don't end up getting uh, terminated, I heard you probably will. If you don't end up getting terminated, you probably will quit. Meaning, if you don't end up getting fired, wrong, uh, rightfully terminated, um, there, I'm assuming the people in the facility or the CEO is going to make you wish you were quit. And they're probably going to make your life miserable. I mean, I didn't hear any of that. That's just my intuitive logic and reasoning and all my life experience. Just saying, just saying. But the CEO in this aspect is going to be in the Panther energy. I heard they're not going to mess around. They're going to be uh, fangs out. Panther energy strong. Starfish. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine is about to shock the hell out of an Aries. They're about to come and really just want to talk. This person has betrayed you in a huge way in the past. For one, it's your baby daddy. For one, it's your neighbor. For one, it's a community, community member. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, masculine, energy strong. So they could have Cancer Pisces or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, behavior, Jupiter charts, but they are masculine energy. For one, it's your neighbor. For one, it's a community member. For one, it's your baby daddy. But I heard they have betrayed you in a huge way in the past, but um, soon they're going to want to come just talk. Just talk. So if you're the baby mama, they're not going to want to get in your pants. Um, if uh, or the neighbor or the community member, I'm assuming they're going to be appropriate. They're not going to try to get in your pants. They're just going to want to come talk. But I did hear that um, they have betrayed you in a huge way in the past. Of course, you have free will to accept this person in as a listening ear. I would just advise everybody to use your best intuition, logic, and reasoning, and your spirit guides and ancestors, and your own logic capabilities. Only you know your history with this water sign masculine, not anybody else. So use your best logic, intuition, and reasoning. Everybody's situation is different, and everybody's different. So only you know who this person is to you. So use your best intuition, allowing this person back. For some, it, the betrayal might have just been too deep and terrible. You feel you can't allow them back, but for some, you might um, feel that you can allow them back. Of course, that's your free will, okay? How that resonates and applies. But major challenges to overcome. I think this uh, water sign masculine is going through a lot. And that's why they want a listening ear. Now, of course, 
whatever betrayals and tennis swords he has done to you in the past, I think it's different levels for different folks. You can choose to allow him back and give a listening ear if you choose to uh, do so. Starfish. This is your water sign masculine wanting a listening ear, whether it's a community member, a neighbor, or a baby daddy. I think he's submerged in some kind of problem, problematic situation is what I'm feeling. A new water sign is about to become very significant in Aries' life. A very light side being, very positive person. You are a positive light side Aries. A new water sign is about to become very significant in a um, light side being, new light side water sign being is about to become very significant in a light side Aries life. So, Excuse me, for you, Aries, you're a light side being. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. And it's a new to you water sign person, water sign masculine or femme, I'm feeling. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Man, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But they're new to you, and they're about to become very significant in your life in a very positive way. For one, they're about to be a co worker. For one, they're about to be a neighbor. For one, social media. Okay, for one, they're about to be a co-worker, a new co-worker. One, they're about to be a new neighbor. And for one, you guys, it sounds like it's about to be a new person you're about to meet on social media in some shape, form, or fashion. So, light side, positive, water sign, energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy, and you are light side, positive, Aries, energy, if that resonates and applies for you, Aries. Seahorse, Family Matters. A new stroller is significant in Aries life. A new pack and play. A new stroller and a new pack and play is very significant in uh, Aries life. So for some of you guys, I feel you could be gifting somebody with a new stroller or a new pack and play. Um, this is heavy family. Um, family energy. So I'm feeling young children here. Um, for some, I feel you'd be gifting somebody with a new pack and play or a new stroller. For some, I feel you'd be receiving a new stroller or pack and play, whether you buy it yourself or you're getting it gifted. Uh, but somehow a new stroller and a new pack and play is about to become significant in your life, whether you're gifting it for somebody, for their family, or somebody, uh, or you're buying it for yourself and your family, or somebody's gifting it to you and your family. But, um, a new stroller and a new pack and play, however you resonate on that spectrum, Aries. And Aries is about to learn a secret. One from your uncle. One from your grandfather. And Aries is about to learn a secret. One from your uncle. One from your grandfather. One from your cousin. 
Okay, Aries is about to learn a secret. Um, one of you guys, you're about to learn the secret from your cousin, one from your uncle, one from your grandfather. So heavy family energy in here, family um, secret energy. Um, I feel it might be family secrets, or it could just be secret about somebody else. But some kind of secret energy, whether it's from your uncle, your grand um, grandfather, or your um, your cousin. However, that resonates and applies to Aries. Mountain, major challenges to overcome. A shocking phone call from a Libra feminine is about to shock the hell out of you. For one, it's positive, a positive life side Libra Femme. For one, it's a very negative, low vibrational Libra Femme. You will probably not answer. Shocking phone call from a Libra Femme is about to become very significant. For one, it's a positive life side Libra Femme. So they treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. I feel that shocking phone call can go positive. Uh, I'm feeling positive. There are positive energy in your life, Aries. So some kind of shocking phone call from a positive light side Libra Femme energy. It sounds like upcoming in the universe. I think there was some kind of challenge to overcome that left you submerged or left then submerged. And it's about to be overcome. There are positive light side Libra Femme energy to you. I, I feel problems about to be resolved energy here. For that person, for that energy. For one of you guys, it's a low vibrational Libra Femme. I heard you will probably not answer. So I'm feeling let it go to voicemail um, is what I'm feeling. Um, or blocking them out of your phone, how that resonates and applies. But it, either way, whether it's a positive light side Libra Femme about to contact you or the low vibrational one, Libra Femme, you're about to be shocked. They're about to call you, how that resonates and applies. For some, they could be a part of your family, possibly. We have the family matters. And Aries is about to find out their cousin is about to go to jail through many series of chain events. It's about to shock the hell out of them. Oh, my Lord. So, family matters. One of you guys is about to find out your cousin's about to go to jail. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Um, whoever this cousin energy is to you, I feel it can be masculine or him cousin. You're about to find out they're about to go to jail. Teapot, deep friendship with someone in same sex. For one, your best friend of a long time is about to invite you on a trip. For one, your uh, best friend of a long time is about to um, invite you on a trip. So, best friend of a long time energy, uh, if this resonates and applies for you, I feel they are definitely the same sex of you. So, whether you're masculine or femme, they definitely are the same sex of you. Um, whether you're masculine or femme, Aries. But I heard they've been your best friend a long time. They're about to invite you on a trip. Um, and I feel it's a long distance trip, far distances. Um, I think it's going to make you happy. It's a best friend that you've had for a long time. If that resonates and applies for you, Aries. Okay. And I feel they definitely are the same sex to you, whether you're a masculine or femme. And for one, you're about to find out your cousin has a roommate. And they get along very well. It's about, it's about to leave, leave you in deep regret because you know you didn't do the right thing in the past. This person is the same sex as them. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, you're about to find out your cousin has a roommate. Um, and I heard it's going to leave you in deep regret. So heavy cousin energy in here. For one of you guys, you have a cousin, and you're about to find out your cousin has a roommate. Um, 
and the cousin is the same se I mean the your cousin their roommate is the same sex as them but I heard once you find out your co cousin has a roommate it's going to leave you in deep regret because I heard you didn't do the right thing in the past so in this aspect this is your cousin that you're about to find out they have a roommate and their roommate is the same sex as them and I heard they get along well so you plug it in how it resonates but somehow it's about to leave you in deep regret when you find this out because you didn't do the right thing in the past. Now, whatever the right thing was for you and how that resonates and applies Aries, okay? For one of you, it's going to lead you to do something you never thought you would do and you're about to do it quickly. Your feminine energy. Okay. For one of you, your feminine energy, and I heard um, once you find this out about your cousin having a roommate that's the same sex as them and they get along well and you're going to be in deep regret and all this and that and the other or what have you, what have you. Um, I heard, well, for one, you're a family energy and it's about to lead you to do something soon and quickly you never thought you would do. So whatever that is that you're going to do soon and quickly that you never thought you would do, only you know that, not anybody else Aries, okay? Submerged. For one Aries, you're about to have very heavy problems at work. You work in a corporate conglomerate. For one, it's in the medical field. For one, you work at Walmart. You're about to have serious work problems at work. Serious. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in, how it resonates. So it's at least two of you guys. For one, you work at Walmart, and one, you work um, in a medical a corporate conglomerate. So in the medical field, in some medical corporate conglomerate, whatever that is and how that applies. But there's at least two of you, heavy corporate conglomerate energy, whether it's Walmart or a medical corporate, corporate conglomerate. But you're about to start having serious work issues. Um, serious. You're about to be submerged at work. It sounds like... Um, it's kind of like um, super stressful, um, crap after crap after crap after crap after crap kind of energy. Um, curveball after curveball after curveball after curveball kind of energy is what I'm feeling thrown at you at work. So heavy work stress is what this feels like here. But you plug in how it resonates. Um, you either work at Walmart or you work in a medical corporate conglomerate if that resonates and applies for you. Heavy, chaotic energy in a workspace energy with the submerged. I feel in over your head energy is what I feel. For one, the death of a boss is about to become very significant. For one of you guys, the death of a boss is about to become very significant. So for one of you guys, it sounds like your boss is about to pass away or somebody's boss either in Walmart or a medical corporate conglomerate is about to pass away, whether it's your boss or somebody else's boss. But somebody's boss is about to pass away and it's about to become very significant. And I feel the boss works at cor a Walmart or a medical corporate conglomerate. How if that resonates and applies? For some, I feel it could be your boss. But somebody's boss, whether it's your boss or somebody else's boss, is about to pass away. Um, in this aspect, submerged, I feel, is actually like... Um, the passing away deceitful energy here, but you plug in how it resonates Aries. For some, I feel it might be a fire sign or a water sign boss that passes away because we have fire sign or water sign energy or not. You plug in how it resonates um, Aries. Rituals that were done on you for one is backfiring. Rituals that was done on another fire sign femme is backfiring. You are a fire sign femme as well. 
Okay, so for one of you guys, rituals were performed on you. So you Aries fem, rituals were performed on you, heavy ritualistic energy, but I heard they're backfiring. So like protection spells, return to spender, sender spells is what I'm feeling here. They're backfiring. Somebody performed some kind of heavy ritualistic energy and spell work and whatever, whatever, whatever on you, but it's backfired. Energetically boomerang back on them for one of you guys. For one, somebody did the same shit to another fire sign fem, and I heard that's that's backfiring too. So whether they perform ritualistic spell work S type energy on you and it's boomerang back on their ass, or they performed it on another fire sign fem, it's boomerang back. However, that resonates and applies Aries, heavy fire sign fem energy, whether it's you as an Aries fam or another Aries Leo Sag fam. I think their asses are submerged with all their energetic boomeranging back of negative spell work and negative energy is what I feel. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful night. Namaste.